Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So Nikita has responded to the current situation with the escape from Tarkov servers. He joined the Evasion podcast yesterday evening to describe what was going on and to apologise for the current situation. I will put that in the background of this video for a little bit, but I will at the end of when I've stopped talking run the little couple of minute clip where he explains what is going on if you want to listen to that. I'll also put a link in the description below so that you can view the full VOD if you want to go and see everything he says because he does talk quite at length about things that are going on but there's only like a couple of minutes snippet that actually relates to the server issues so he says that the server issues are due to them being overloaded with the influx of new players and there are a couple of other things that are adding to it as well there's the new players so obviously we've got a lot of people trying to play the game we have an influx of reoccurring players so people have come back for 12 12 and because of the drops event they want to play the game and there's also issues with the way the game is coded it's not taking full advantage of the server capacity that they have at the moment hence why they've put a queue system in but there is also a attack on the servers currently ongoing now Nikita doesn't go into specifics about what this attack is actually doing and what kind of attack it is the community consensus is that it's a denial of service attack and that is another reason that they've put this queue system in now we do say that the queue system is temporary they will remove it once things have calmed down but for now it is the only way to sort of ensure that once you actually do get into the game and get into a raid that the game behaves the way it should be now that isn't the case for everybody people are still suffering once they do actually get into the game there are a lot of back-end errors there's a lot of examining errors a lot of item moving errors i suffered some of those yesterday myself once i managed to get in but unfortunately this is just the way things are right now i know a lot of people out there don't agree with the way battlestate are doing things i know a lot of people think that everything they say is bullshit but you've only got to look at the key in that video to see that he is physically tired he's drained he's worn out i'm sure that other members of his team are as well they don't want to be working over the holiday period although doing the twitch drops doing a wipe and a big update right on christmas they kind of do bring a little bit of it on themselves but i'm sure that they didn't expect it to be so much work so yeah i believe they're doing everything they can to sort of alleviate things but we're just gonna have to ride with it for now one of the things that i would suggest is that you start the game way before you want to play it now i know that that's not a great answer i know that it doesn't stop us having to queue but if you think you know what i want to play skate from tarkov in a bit then launch it it will obviously launch in once you've gone through the queue and then just go off and do something else you know it does say that it'll calculate a time for how long you'll be able to get in how long you've got to wait that doesn't work it doesn't calculate any time yesterday i joined in the queue at i think about 80 something thousand and it took me an hour and a half to get into the game so it's frustrating i understand that i share the same frustration frustrations as everybody else clearly Nikita and his team are frustrated about it but it is what it is right now and it can't be helped so all being well in a couple of days time it will calm down they'll maybe remove the queue system then and we'll be able to get back to playing as we used to now i know that a lot of people have just bought this game they've seen the hype behind it they've watched some of the streamers play it and they're like you know what i like the look of that i'll get it and they haven't actually been able to play the game or they've got into it and they've had a pretty bad experience with errors back-end errors etc i would say to these people just stick with it it will be cleared up pretty quickly battle state games are good at communicating what is going on with the game and fixing the errors with it a lot of people say that they aren't they never used to be they used to be pretty crap at communicating but they were always fairly good at fixing it but they're being 100 percent transparent with us right now i believe so we just have to wait wait it out so for those new players just hang in there it will get better it may take a little while it could take another week we've got another five days of drops to go yet so it could take you know a bit too long for most of us but it'll get there in the end i would just like to say a big thank you to everybody that interacted with the video yesterday um I had a good number of people subscribe from that that was amazing it was good to see the numbers go up it was good to finally get over the 1500 subscriber mark so that was brilliant I'd like to say a big thank you to the new subscribers a big thank you to everybody that does subscribe and a big thank you to any of you that consider subscribing and do subscribe it doesn't cost anything and it massively helps me out so thank you to everybody that interacted yesterday and that is pretty much it for this video ladies and gentlemen as always thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one Take Okay. Hello, hello everybody. Uh, yeah, like I, I decided to 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 jump in uh, just to say a couple of words. And of course, you like everybody understand that uh, right now we are getting so overwhelmed with the new players and everything. And 
many of you are being frustrated about this queuing and stuff i personally uh, too frustrated with them too and we are literally working 24 7 to do anything to avoid this queuing and stuff and we all, we already had uh, several things that we are preparing right now and uh, we will start testing them like in in, in a couple of hours and most likely we will do something but unfortunately all of these changes could lead to backend faults and everything and also the queuing also uh, is kind of keeping the backend stable uh not 100 stable but stable not without like general faults and everything and uh like it seems okay but the queue uh, queues are too big and you people like waiting for it for too long and also we constantly testing different kind of approaches to to lower this queue with different kind of like techniques so we like do different kind of stuff like for example we had uh like the like if you got kicked out of the game out of the menu for example or out of the flea market you you was able to reconnect without any queuing but it it, it led to overloading again because literally when it comes to uh like the mass amount of players for example like ten thousand or twenty thousand of players got ki kicked out from the game they reconnect instantly and overload the things and uh yeah so for some reason it 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 uh like overloads some some of the nodes and we are trying to understand what what exactly is going on right now and also there is a lot of uh, like i don't know how to say it like uh, there is people i don't know organizations who really do not like our success and it's success i don't know i i can't I, I can't say about it as all like it's a success 100 percent. of course yeah this popularity and i fucking hate it actually so i'm sorry and uh it's actually the this kind of our people or organization are like trying to make things worse by attacking our servers at the same time and uh, i wish them only the, the worst <laughs>